Hi guys, today we are going to learn about superload analysis. Superload analysis is also similar to that of nodal analysis. But when we will we'll use this uh, supernode analysis. Okay, so if branch in the network, if branch in the network has voltage source, then it is difficult to apply the nodal analysis. Okay, at that time we will go for supernode technique. Okay, so supernode in the sense is simply any network branch consists of voltage source, then we will go for supernode analysis. Okay, and if two adjacent nodes are connected by a voltage source, then the nodes are reduced to single node and equations are formed. See this network. So, here uh, this is let us consider a node V1 and this one is node V2 and this one is node V3. Okay, if you are going to apply the nodal analysis, let us say this is current I. If you are going to apply the nodal analysis at the node V1, how will apply? I is equal to I is equal to V1 by say this is R1, R2, R3, R4 and R5. V1 by R1. plus V1 minus V2 by R2 like that. Okay. And even it is very easy to apply the nodal analysis at node V1. So whenever we are going to apply the nodal analysis at a node V2, so V2, how can we apply the nodal analysis between these two nodes? Okay. So, at that point of time, at that kind of situations, we will go for supernode techniques. Okay. Now, we will uh, solve a circuit and then easily you can analyze uh, the network with voltage sources. Okay. So, this is the network with 10 amperes current source. VA is equal to 20 volts and VB is equal to 10 volts. Vb is equal to 10 volts. So, here between the nodes V2 and V3, a voltage source is there. Okay. So, this network has voltage source. This network has voltage source in the in one branch. So, it is very difficult to apply normal nodal analysis. That is the reason why we are going for super node analysis. So, at node V1, we are applying nodal analysis. Okay. So, what is nodal analysis? Nodal analysis is nothing but KCL plus Ohm's law. KCL plus Ohm's law. So, V1 is a normal node. At that point, we are applying nodal analysis. That is, current entering 10 amperes is equal to V1 by 3 ohms. V1 by 3 plus V1 minus V2 by 2 ohms. V1 minus V2 by 2 ohms. Okay. By simplifying, we will get 10 is equal to V1 into 1 by 3 plus 1 by 2 minus V2 into 1 by 2. So, 10 is equal to V1 into it is 0.83 minus V2 into 0.5. V2 into 0.5. Let us assume this one as equation 1. Now, at this node, V2 is the super node. Why? Because to this node, a voltage source is connected. Okay. At this node, 
we are using this super node analysis v2 by v2 minus v1 by 2 plus v2 by 1 plus now at this point you have to observe very clearly that is v3 minus what is vb 10 by 5 ohms plus v3 by 2 ohms v3 by 2 ohms which is equal to 0 okay v2 into 1 by 2 plus 1 minus v1 into 1 by 2 plus v3 into 1 by 5 plus 1 by 2 is equal to 10. Okay. Now, it is v1 into 0 0.5 plus v2 into 1.5 plus 0.7 into v3 which is equal to 10. Let us say this is equation 2. Now, I am writing the voltage equation between these two nodes that is what is v2 minus v3 it is given as 20 volts. v2 minus v3 is equal to 20 volts. So, this is equation 3. Okay. So, on solving these three equations, we will get V1 is equal to minus 21.5 and V2 is equal to minus 15.8 and V3 is equal to 4.8. Okay, this is about super load analysis. Thank you.